Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will see how to make this screw spindle and the Tommy bar. You can download this file from the link given in the description also. Like I said in the previous video, also you can download. And these are the drawing details. And first, we'll make this Tommy bar, which is very much easy to make. And this is also we are going to use the very similar tool that is we just use the revolve option. So we'll go to sketch and I'm going to choose the front plane. And here I'm not going to make any of the construction line. Just because they were hollow, the axis line I need to make it. And this one it is not hollow, it is fully solid, so axis line will be included. You can just understand afterwards when you know it so okay and i'm going to use three point arc and now i'll add the dimension from this point to this the length is actually the length is 275 mm from this end to this end not this excluding this surface this cylinder this uh, spherical like surface so it is 275 so 275 and this length is 62 mm and this one is 45 degree 62 and this one is 45 degree so we are specifying it from here it will be 135 and this diameter diameter is 12 and here diameter is 20 so we are going to make half of it so it will be 6 and this one will be 20 by 2 that is 10 and now you can see it is fully defined except this part because we don't know this they have not specified the radius so I am going to make sure that these the center point of this R and this line are coinciding. And just for the making it has defined, I'm going to add the radius and up radius. Uh, let, me, let me say suppose that 5. And now you can see this it is fully defined. They have not specified it, but we'll just make it. And then we'll exit from the sketch and we'll go to the feature. And again, we we'll use the option revolve. And here the profile is not selected. Go to selected contours, and I'm going to select this profile. And the pro close profile should be there, otherwise, it will not select. And the axis of revolution, I'm going to choose this axis. That is why I've not made any construction in finite line. Now you can see. Now you can see why I have made this part uh, so that little bit bulges out. You can see on this part, see the same thing. And now here they have given the chamfer. See, since they have not specified here, and here we have to from the details on this thing, you have to take it as one into four by degree. And go to here expand, and here you will have the chamfer option. And here 1 into 45 degree and then we click on OK. And now we are going to add the material to it, right click, edit material. And for the Tommy bar it is given as Fe potent W. So yeah, I have already created the material. In the previous videos you have seen how to create a custom material. I have created a gun metal. So here I have specified it has AP port and W and then going to place. And here I'm going to just change the appearance if you want. For this one, I'm going to leave it. Okay, let us change this edit appearance. And I'll make it to just for the physical distinguishing between parts in the assembly. Or you can just leave it as it is. And now we go to file properties and here we'll add for the POM and we'll click on OK and now we'll save this one as Tommy bar
and now we'll see how to create a screw spindle or a screw jack and the drawing details are this here also since it is a free solid part we are not going to create any access line go to sketch and i'm going to choose the print link so first i'll make a rough roughly all the things and later i am going to add all the dimensions the overall height of the screw spindle is 240 here also we just use the revolve and later we'll see how to make this hole and this hole screw hole and this height is 83 and here they are given the chamfer of 10 mm into 45 we will not make it here we will just do it in the as a feature itself that is in the 3d tools so it makes the sketch a little bit complicated or you can just add it if you want from this end to this end they have specified the height it is 83 83 and this diameter they have given since you are making half we are taking half value so 22 so half of it will be 11 and this outermost diameter is 65 we are going to make that one also as half of 65 divided by 2 so this is 22 right so it will be 11 and from this end to this it is 65 by 2 and this one you choose it is this side and since we are not constrained it and this height is 30 mm and now this diameter is actually the square threading of 38 mm which means that 38 mm in dia so, so we just make it half so it is 38 divided by 2 that is 19 and here I choose the sketch chamfer so the equal distance will be there and you can see this chamfer has been made and you can apply it over here also then click on ok now, now also the sketch is fully defined and now we will exit from the sketch and now go to feature and use the revolve and in the selected contours I am going to choose this remember it should be a closed loop and the axis is this okay and now we will go to the front or right plane any plane is fine because since it is cylindrical kind of thing or a shaft kind of thing and we will click on create sketch and I am going to create a hole I will make sure that the center of this circle and this are vertical and now I will add the dimension the hole diameter is the through hole diameter they have specified as 12 mm so it is 12 and the center of this circle to this bottom it is given as 35 mm it is 35 And now the sketch is fully defined. We'll exit the sketch and we'll go to the feature and we'll use extrude cut. And I'm going to specify it as mid plane and I'm going to extend it a little bit extra, it will not be a problem. And now you can see a through hole has been made. And now we'll go to the front or the right plane again. Go to the front plane or right plane to create another sketch. And now we are going to make this profile, this countersink hole. Tapping is there, it's an internal threads are there. So we'll see how to make. So it is not a standard thing. Sometimes the standard will be there. Since they are not, it is not standard, it is and it's not available in the SolidWorks threading or pull option. We have to draw it and then use the revolve cut. Now as add the dimension. This they have given as M12 that is diameter is 12. So it will be 6 half of it. And this one it will be 15. The diameter will be 15. So half of it will be 15 by 2 that is 7.5. 
and the depth till this point is 35 mm not till the tip only till this bottom base it is 35 mm from the top so from this to this it is 35 mm and this should be slightly downwards and now we will specify the angle for this one also angle is what angle will be 45 degree or 60 degree since they are not specified we will be taken as 60 or 45 itself and now you see the sketch is fully defined and now we will exit it and we will go to extrude revolve sorry revolve cut by default the profile is not selected select the profile and axis of rotation as this and now you can see hole has been made and now we will see how to create a threading use the go to hole wizard thread and this is a top link and I am going to specify the distance I am going to specify the distance as 30 mm you can see here threading is done only till here and the distance is 30 mm from the top so distance is 30 and the size for that one is M12 holes M12 they are not specified the pitch we have taken as M12 into 1.5 and then click on ok and now we will apply the material to it right click edit material and for the screws middle it is fe port and w we just hit enter it as and then apply and i will go to appearance and right click over here and edit the appearance and i choose anything if you want you can just play with it and if you don't want you can just keep as it is and now i will make this external thread before making this external thread there is a chamfer over here and if they have not specified the chamfer over here we have to take it from here it is 1 into 4 per degree so we will just go here and click on chamfer it is 1 into 4 per degree and then we will use the threading option and the thread starting location is this and end condition up to I am going to choose the end condition since we don't know the distance and there is it is not fully threaded it is offsetted at a distance of 3 mm from this side since we don't know the distance we will just add we will choose the end point over here and then offset it at 3 and I am going to add the offset for the end condition and the distance of offset is 3 mm now you see if you add the offset it goes inside I will reverse the direction by clicking over here now you can see 3 mm is left and now we will click on and it is oh, 38 mm it is not available so we will choose 39 into 2 and then we will click on ok uh, yeah. and here since we are making a here it should be metric type and then I will use the cut option now you can see the internal setting has been made and now we will go to file properties and property name material here also we will add the material and and then we we'll click on ok and now we are going to save this part as cruise printer thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe my channel for more videos like this and comment below for any suggestions